Hello everybody, welcome to Cooking with Ciro. So if you don't know how to cook or you don't like how to cook, um, this is gonna be a good video for you because we're not using a stove, we're not using an oven, we're not even using a microwave. We're only using the fridge. Stay tuned. All right, we are going to make ceviche today, okay? Now, if you uh, search ceviche recipes online or even on YouTube, there's going to be a ton, a million ways to make this recipe. I'm going to just keep it easy, okay? And I'm going to keep it simple for those that just want a good tasting ceviche that's fresh and that requires little effort, okay? So let's take a look at our ingredient list. Uh, we're gonna be using fish, I'm using tilapia, red onions, lemon juice, salt, pepper, cilantro, tomatoes, jalapenos, avocado, chips, and some kind of picante sauce. Um, you can substitute any one of these ingredients. If you don't like salt and pepper, just don't put salt and pepper. If you don't like red onion, put a uh, regular onion. If you don't like onion at all, well, don't put any yet. Don't put any in it. Um, if you don't want it spicy, just don't put jalapeno in it, you know? So let's get to it, okay? Here are all my ingredients. So we are going to start by chopping everything up and setting it to the side. We are going to begin with the star of this show, okay? Tilapia, fish. This part is key. I've seen ceviche done in a lot of different ways. There's people that um, like it just in slices like this. Some people like it cubed. Some people like big pieces. I'm going to do about um, medium sized cubes, okay? About half an inch. About half an inch by half an inch. Those are going to be my sizes. All right, so my fish is cut up. I'm going to cut up my lemon. Um, if you don't know how much lemon to use, I would say one lemon per one filet of fish that you are using. Um, and you know, it, it can vary depending on how juicy the lemon is, depending on how big the filet is. All right, so our lemons are cut and our fish is cut. We're going to just start squeezing them all in. So I have my fish in my container with all the lemon juice in there. And if you see, this is kind of what you want. You want the lemon juice to be about halfway covering all of the fish, okay? So here it is, it's about halfway covered. And um, this is fine because halfway through the cooking process, um, you're gonna get it out of the fridge and you're gonna give it a little bit of mix. Ciro, I thought you said that we're not cooking in this video. I didn't say that. I said we're not using a stove, oven, microwave. We're using a fridge and lemon juice to cook. Hmm, yes. In case you didn't know, there are different types of cookion, right? What we are doing is we are doing an acidic cook, okay? Which the acidity in the lemon will actually cook the fish Right, chemically, it's chemically cooking it. I don't know if you can see, but some of this fish is already start starting to turn white. Okay, from pink, it's going to white. That's because it's being chemically cooked by the acidity that the lemon has. So at this point, I'm going to put this in the fridge. Um, Minimum of 30 minutes, maximum of about two hours, and then it'll be ready to eat. You can leave it longer if you'd like. However, the longer you leave it, the more it'll cook. And eventually, past like the two, three hour mark in the fridge, it's going to um, become pickled, which is not bad. It's, it's gonna, still gonna taste good, but it will change the texture of the fish a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna cover this. And this is gonna go in the fridge. While that's in the fridge, we're gonna get everything else ready. So, I got half a red onion, and that's it. I don't like it fairly small. Some people might like it fairly small, I don't. That's how I like mine. 
cilantro. Again, I don't like this very finely cut. I like my ceviche big and chunky. Everything that we do here at, at Cooking with Ciro, we like big and chunky. My tomato. Next is the jalapeno. Remember, if you don't want it spicy, just don't add jalapeno. Um, but if you want to, go ahead and add it. The last thing that we're going to cut up is avocado. The more avocado you have, the better. There's just something about cilantro, lime juice, and avocado that tastes so fresh, tastes almost like a beach. So I'm done prepping all of my veggies. And uh, I know a lot of people just pretty much mix it all in with the lime juice and throw it in the fridge from the get-go. I don't like to do that, um, at least not um, for the full cook. I want my vegetables to, to taste fresh, okay? So um, I'll just throw them in at the end once the fish is fully cooked. Some people don't like it because they feel that the fish doesn't absorb the taste of the uh, of the, the rest of the ingredients, and, and, and that's true. It, it, it won't, okay? Um, however, all the different tastes are still there. It'll still complement the plate. But um, you could throw it in halfway if you'd like. Halfway through the cook, you could just throw it in, um, all the veggies in, and mix it in, and just let it sit for a little bit longer. You can always do that. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's looking nice. A lot less pink, a lot more white. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little mix. I will go ahead and season it. Salt. One good layer on top. And also pepper, one good layer on top. I'm going to go ahead and put my onion in at this time. I'm going to put in my jalapeno. However, I will not put the tomato, cilantro, or the avocado in at this time. Um, I don't want my avocado to uh, tear apart. Um, I don't want my cilantro to get soggy, and I don't want my tomato to release too much juice into the mixture. So I'm just going to uh, mix this up, and then it's going to go back in the fridge for another 15 minutes. Actually, I'm going to put about 20 minutes on the clock. All right, so this is how it looks. This right here is how it's looking. Pretty good. Smells delicious, guys. It smells like freshness. It's gonna go back in the fridge, and then uh, we'll be back to finish it up. All right, so the time is up. Okay, let's take a look at how it's coming along. Okay, that looks really good. Let's give it a taste. Okay. Pretty good. It could use a little bit more salt, so I'm gonna put a just right there. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the ingredients in. Cilantro and tomato going in. Now avocado's going in. Okay, so we're about to plate this. So um, a lot of people serve this with tostadas or chips. I'm just gonna use regular old uh, flour, corn flour chips. go alrighty so that's how it looks and here's where I get my salsa and I'm just gonna drizzle it and that's it ceviche let's uh, get a bite oh, there we go look at that right there it has everything let's give it a taste mm. <laughs> So good. Delicious.
Thanks for stopping by. Like this video, subscribe, and all that. If you didn't like this video, it's okay. I'm going to make another video. Go and like that one. If you guys have any recipe suggestions, send them to me. Send them to me, and I will glad gladly give you a shout-out and make your recipe. Till next time.